Hello everyone, Sean here once again. It is June 9th, 2023, and we're back on our daily Wordle. Our bonus puzzle today is the Nerdle. So last day of Trace, our Wordle Word of the Week that's done very well. Uh, just an A here. So let's look at... Let's look at the word nasal. Get those on the board. Check for doubles. Ooh, there is a double. Uh, this looks like it's going to be the word salsa to me. No, very close though. Um, I think the only word that fits that would be balsa. Just scanning for other ones that it could possibly be. Alright, let's go for balsa. There it is. All right. Check Wordlebot now. 99 skill, 40 luck. Wow, okay. So Trace 99, Nasal 97, Salsa 99. It was 50-50, we didn't realize that. Uh, I thought it was down to just Salsa, but got the 50-50 wrong. So 14 luck, 24 luck, not a lot of luck on Trace or Salsa, but uh, skill was 97 or above the whole time. Love it. Uh, Wordlebot, of course, because it went with slate instead of trace, already knew the S didn't go first. So uh, nasal was its second guess as well, but didn't have to do salsa. Next, could jump straight to balsa for 66 luck instead. All right, and I'm guessing... We're going to see Salsa pop up quite a bit here. Oh, actually, Balsa was a higher guess than Salsa. That's actually a little bit surprising. Uh, turn 5, 78. Turn 6, 95. So I'm guessing these 5% didn't know what uh, Balsa was. Uh, balsa, a type of wood. So let's check out today's Nerdle. 4 times 3 plus 0 is 12. All right, so we have multiplication here. Let's see. We don't have a two-digit answer. So what we could have is multiplying by 30 for a three-digit answer. Something in the, at the very least, 130s. This cannot be lower than a 3 if that's the case. Otherwise, we can do multiplied by 3 and then divided by a two-digit number for a single-digit answer over here. Which kind of seems to me a little bit more likely. I think that's the, that's the approach I want to go with. So I want to start with... Um, let's see what we can multiply by 3 and then have something to divide by. So, you know what we could end up with is a 1 over here. I'm going to check this particular structure out here. I think that'll get us a good, decent ways. Okay. Interesting. So it's going to be subtraction. It's the same exact thing. We're multiplying by 3 to get a high number. And then subtracting off something in the tens. So we also know that this can't be that high of a number that we multiply by. Um, so we could not have anything that goes into the 20s. So the highest this is going to be is 6. Actually, it has to be a 6. Uh, because 3 times 3 does not get into the tens. So, 6 times 3, and then we're going to subtract off. We need uh, basically two numbers here that make 8. So we don't have another 1. What does this, what does this mean here? Or no, this doesn't this doesn't necessarily have to be the six. We could easily come into um, the twenties, but subtract off something large enough 
So if I do this, this would have to be an 11, which I also, I guess I could do with a 3 and an 8. Let's try that out. Okay. Next one up would be here, and I think this is going to be our answer. So we need two numbers here that are going to be 14. So I think we'll, let's put an 8 over here and a 6 here. There we go. Lovely. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe. It really does help me a lot. And share this video with anyone you think would enjoy these kind of games. That's all for now, and we will see you all in the next one.